Hello everyone. In this small uh, tutorial, we will discuss how to use SPSS for our data analysis. I will teach you uh, the main main steps that what that will guide you to perform your own analysis, whatever data you have, and what sort of information you want to use to perform your statistical analysis. Right. So first of all, uh, uh, you can see here this is the main uh, GUI of the interface of the SPSS, there are two sheets. One is data view. Here the data will be presented and this is the variable view where you define your variables. So uh, I'll show you how you define your variables. First of all, if you see here that the first uh, column says that the name, right? So uh, let's say we want to write a name that student ID. Here you don't have to give space because the space will is not entertained here. As you can see here, if I'm just putting a space, then it's giving an error that variable name contains an illegal character. That illegal character is actually the space, right? So no special character space or anything, just write student ID, right? The type is already defined here. You can see numeric and uh, I'll keep that numeric because this is ID. So ID needs to be numeric like one, two, three. Okay. And then uh, this is default set as eight and uh, variable uh, decimals are zero. So I'm just putting it here as zero, right? Uh, and then label. Label actually means that how you want to label your information when you're performing the data analysis. This label will be shown in your results. I'll show you when I'll perform the analysis, right? The values that that can be any values. I'm not setting here any values here. Uh, uh, and it, it is miscellaneous. So that keep kept as none. Then missing variables, this missing option is uh, is used when we want to exclude some information out of our analysis. I'm not checking, uh, uh, clicking this uh, information as well and keeping at it as none. Columns, keep that default. Now, if I want to align, for example, uh, that is, you know what uh, that means. You've seen this in Excel and other documents as well that I want to align with left, right, center. Let's keep it center or let's keep it left right Meyer. so Meyer are three uh the three different uh, levels for example scale ordinal and nominal and uh, for scale you know that scale means that there are uh, different very values like one two three four so on and so forth so i keep that as and uh, and then ordinal is for the rank variable like uh, if i we want to compare between different ranks uh, then we use ordinal and nominal is actually uh, uh, means that uh, that is miscellaneous or uh, like male, female, yes, no, or so on and so forth. So I keep this as nominal because it doesn't have any specific scale or that it is not any uh, is not rank option. This these are just values, right? So next is now I want to uh, write the names. For example, student ID. Then there will be a student name. Right? Keep that name now name is not a numeric it is a string so i will change numeric from uh, numeric to string here right now this is string and then the label again i'll write that again as name then the rest value should be none missing none columns again eight left and then nominal because there is no ranks in the names right so keep that nominal then the uh that can be gender gender you can see that now if i'm putting it here as numeric why because uh whenever we perform different statistical analysis you will see when you perform the data that usually a lot of different statistical methods do not uh entertain a string value values like male or female so i will keep that as numeric and uh, decimals zero and then uh, the then i'll just label this as uh, you can say again gender and values right now now this is where i uh, i'll show you why values are important here for example i want to say that one value is for male now and two value is for female right so now here you can see okay 
now whenever i write one here in this numeric that will correspond to male and whenever i write two that will correspond to female and the statistical method will not be will not face any problems right the missing again that is none columns eight right and now gender is also not a rank or not a scale so i will just keep that as nominal now uh, let's uh, put one or two more uh, variables here for example age age i'll say that age is a numeric value obviously that is a numeric value and uh, no decimals i'm just keeping it numeric then age label again that is age for values i'm not putting any variable because these are miscellaneous variable values each person have a different age and then missing none column none align right and unknown now this is a scale because we have different values for each uh, variable right so keep that as scale lastly uh, let's say i want to say that what i want to see for uh, this attendance for instance now attendance uh, is again and uh, me I, i'm just uh, keeping attendance as yes or no that whether person is present or not so i'm just uh, using that but here i'm again using numeric as i said you that some of the statistical methods does not entertain string variable values right so label now i want to label it that uh, did he or she take the classes in la during last week now this is the uh, label here because that will be shown when i'm asking about the attendance and values now i want to say that one value for yes zero for no right now this is again a missing uh, is none i don't want to exclude any information column eight and then a line uh, keep that like uh, let's keep all the same here right right and then uh, this is again uh, yes or no value and uh, but let's say that's different uh, you can keep it as nominal or you can keep at keep it as ordinal that uh, that uh, doesn't even affect the data right so now the, these are different five different uh, variables i have defined and now uh, if you go here you can see here that on the top header there are five vari variables student id name gender age and attendance right okay so here you this is the data view so let's put uh, different very values here we will what we will use for the analysis for example student id number one name ali gender you can select between the two genders here ali is a male age this actually uh, this option actually which is uh, you are seeing here is uh, here we defined in the values option that one for male and two for female right then uh, age i'd say 18 attendance i say he attended he attended the class i say yes or i can just select here from the options right so in this way you can put all different values here uh, the student IDs, different names, gender and age. I'll just show you, I just showed you how you can do it. Uh, for the rest of the values, you can do it yourself. I'll just copy uh, the information here. So now here you can see all these five values are added here for the student IDs to 20 different names, then the genders and age and uh, attendance, right? Now uh, I'll show you how to perform different analysis let's say we will we perform here statistical analysis of uh, you can say dis district descriptive statistics and in descriptive statistics just go and click frequencies so you can say see that uh, now we have shown id name gender age and uh, uh, attendance that did he, he or she take the classes during the last week so let's say i write here I add here age uh, sorry gender and attendance and then uh, keep the, uh, the display frequency tables check and then I go here and I just look for the charts here let's say I want the bar chart 
right just continue and click ok right. now here you can see that uh, the total number of uh, male and females are mentioned here and total number of males are 7 and females are 13 percentage the 65 percent are female and so on and so forth and then did he or she take the class uh, nine, 11 did not take the class and he has 9 took, uh, take, took the class here and uh, the percentage are given here now this is the bar chart you can see here this is the uh, frequency of uh, ten, uh, you can say male and female here and these charts show you that the female number is higher compared to males and then did he or she now take the classes during the last week you can see that there are literally more students who did not take the class compared to the students uh, who uh, took the class right now so this is the way you can perform all the analysis you just have to insert the variables and then you can perform your own analysis of interest let's say I also do some other analysis here let's get it back now check the age now I want to check the age of the students here that what is the actual age uh, of the students so I this is a scale value so I select mean median quartile uh, and yeah we don't need a standard deviation for this or other things just click OK and then for the ground uh, for the charts I select here histograms and then click continue click OK right so now here you can see that the table of uh, the total number of students the age and now you can see here the histogram this histogram shows you the that majority of the students are uh, are of the age of 19 and there is a very normal distribution here and also the mean mean age of the students is 20.65 and median is 21 that is very near to each other so yeah so now you can see that we have performed different statistical analysis diff and uh, uh, we also build different charts and grams, uh, graphs using the SPSS so I think this will be a very uh, helpful tutorial for the beginners and that, that will lead to, to the advanced level very easily if you know the basics of defining the variables and performing the analysis thank you very much and take care of yourself uh, bye bye